In this video, I wanna show you the first active attachment that I am gonna show you. And it looks like this on the front of our robot. It's just a, a beam that sticks out. It's connected to this little gearbox right here uh, with an axle in it. Uh, and it's used to pick up the pipe in the first Lego League hydrodynamics mission. These are the parts we're gonna need. We're gonna need a uh, number 15 axle, a picture frame, a number two axle, a number three axle, a number seven axle, a number eight axle, two of these axle couplers uh, and two uh, these gray or tan sometimes they're gray sometimes they're tan gears they look like this they got the kind of a side thing on them and three bushings gray bushings and one of these pieces this piece comes in the first uh, the Lego League uh, kit the uh, education base kit from Lego uh, education and um, it is a uh, axle on one side sticking out and a peg on one side sticking out and it's a uh, it's a one-of-a-kind piece I mean they're, they're very very valuable all right let's get started okay first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the two axle couplings and we're going to stick them together with this number two axle so they're just going to go right in just like that just like that and then we're going to take the picture frame and we're going to set it there in the center just like this and we're going to put this in the center now this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because the picture frame has three holes on the side and we're going to stick the number eight axle that's the biggest black one in the center hole and then we're going to kind of hold it by the axle just a little bit sticking in there and then we're gonna put one of these gears in just like that. So we should be able to spin this just like that. Now I'm gonna take this red piece and I'm gonna stick it in the center so it sticks to the axle as well, just like this. And it should spin around the red thing. The picture frame should spin around the red thing. And this thing should spin inside of the picture frame. Now the other gear, the other gear is going to go on the other side and it takes two hands to hold this. And we're gonna take this little gray number three axle and we're gonna stick it in the center hole through the gear and into the, into the other axle complete. So this will never come out, it's, it's in there never gonna come out. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the gray uh, bushings and I'm just gonna stick it on the axle just as kind of like an extra precautionary thing so this thing doesn't wiggle around a whole heck of a lot. And then I'm gonna take the number 15 beam and I'm gonna put it all the way on the end, last hole uh, over the axle, the black axle, number eight. And then I'm gonna take the special piece, uh, the black, axle on one end, peg on one end, deal. And I'm gonna stick the peg towards the beam and on the axle, just slide it until it clicks in. Now, if you notice now, the beam spins with the gears and that's what we want. We want the beam to spin with the gears. And this special piece is the piece that makes it happen because it locks the axle in to the beam with that peg part. And now I'm gonna slide it all the way to the end, just like that. Now, with it facing this way, with it facing this way, I'm going to stick the gray axle about halfway up the beam, and I'm gonna put a gray bushing on each end, just like that. And we have our first active attachment. Let's hook it up to the robot. Okay, so we're ready to hook this attachment up to the robot. And I'm going to point this so it's on the, the if I'm facing the robot, the left side. If I'm facing the, the, the back of the robot, I'm gonna put it on the right side. And I'm just gonna clip it in just like that on the front mounting plate. And it is ready to go. We can program it. So if we follow this black line with a light sensor, and if we line it up right, this beam goes directly in the loop for the, the uh, pipe that's broken. 
we can lift up and the axles keep it from sliding all the way down and getting in the way of our wheels. And then we can just turn the robot and drive away. It's that easy. Okay, so this is from the side. We're following the, the robots following the line. Then it automatically goes in the loop on the broken pipe. We can lift up this motor and we can just turn the robot and drive away. There's gonna be another attachment that's very similar to this that can also put this pipe back in where the other pipe came from for extra points. So subscribe, don't miss that video.